howdy and a big welcome back to Yak City Gaming everybody as once more today we're going to pick up MLD 16 the show and guys it is our Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode let's get into the standings you see right here we sit a game and a half back of the division lead at this point we are ranked fourth in the entire MLB the probably best power team in the league so this is where we got to get it figured out We've got a tough schedule. It's Houston, Texas, Chicago, Baltimore, and then we'll play the first game of the Boston series. So, unless we're winning crazily, then I don't want to screw it up, and then we'll go to Detroit. That's whatever. But we got to get ground up. We only need to win a couple more games than Tampa Bay or New York, say. But you know what? Let's go, and we're going to get a couple of losses and then a couple wins. And a couple more wins and losses, and we're going to keep alternating. And you know it, it's the first year player draft in this episode, so we got to do that. And where are we situated? I think we are drafting 28th this year. So a pretty bad spot to be drafting out of this year. And I must say, let's pick player. We haven't scouted anyone this year. So uh, how do we sort? Uh, can we sort column? There we go. And looks like a bunch of 20, 21, 70, anyone 85, 80, uh, 75 right there. Um, anyone, 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 let's go, come on now. 80, 21, oh, that's not good. Uh, anyone else, can't really see anyone. Doesn't look like we have any good draft picks to choose from in this draft. So we'll have to go find the guy who was 75. 2018 Alfredo Casilla. You know what? 75 potential for a 20 overall relief pitcher. I will take Alfredo Casilla night and day, every day. All right, advance, and we will pick another player, and then that should be the end of this draft for us. Looks like a whole fresh crop, and uh, starting pitching, you can never have enough starting pitching. Claudio Urban, or else we can get uh, Jonas... Valentine, but you know what, Claudio Urban looks to be a lot safer of a pick, and we'll get him picked up right away, and we'll go one more pick here just for safe measure, and do they have anyone else I would be interested in, a 22-year-old relief pitcher, 80 potential, no thank you, I'll take the international relief pitcher, Pedro Cardona, who is an 18-year-old, 2018 ETA, 80 potential, we'll take him. And let's see here. Can we auto-draft from here on out? Let's get the auto-draft done. We will go one more game, and we will get the victory. 32-23. and 23. We're a game back of the Tampa Bay Rays, so we're starting to light it up. And let's see here. Acquisitions, and we want signed draft picks. 86 potential for Alfredo Casilla. We got to sign him and sign him right now. 94. 94. I'm talking to you right now, 94 potential for Claudio Urban. That is absolutely fantastic. Looks like we got another steal in Pedro Cardona, who's 81 potential. So these guys really, they're just minor league bodies. But man, our three picks are absolutely dynamite. Our pen's going to be solid come two years from now. And Claudio Urban, he is going to be a starter in no time for us. I mean, you look at our starting pitching, we've got really nobody of strength other than Stroman and Ryu, and I mean, I guess you can throw Estrada in there, but nobody else. And then our pen will get, oh man, this is going to be good, we're going to be really good. That's our future ace right there. Alright, without further ado, let's uh, actually take a look at how the lineup's doing in this game. You see Tulowitzki 303, Donaldson 231. Bautista, not a lot of guys hitting. Uh, I wish Zimmerman would hit more home runs. Uh, bottom of the lineup, well, Dominic Brown's still dominating, and Brian Goins doing better than expected. All right, let's get into this game here. Yes, we want to go, and third in the AL East right now. Okay, so we obviously fell back. Marcus Stroman, our ace, going to the mound. we got to have a good game for him. And we will player lock as double E Edwin Encarnacion, who looks to be on fire right now. Let's get into it. Uh, Troy Tulowitzki has been running ragged lately. All right, we'll get Goins in there. That's not a problem. And let's see. Let's go. All right, team ranking in doubles. If we can hit four more doubles in this game, we can end up taking the lead in the MLB in doubles. 
That would not be bad. Kevin Pillar, you see he's had 14. Donaldson and Encarnacion are the next two leaders with 13 and 12, respectively. So it's not like this team has been lacking in offense. Although the home runs haven't been quite there as normal, you know what, we can, uh, we can deal with less home runs if we're hitting more extra base hits, right? So bottom of the first, Edwin Encarnacion up to the dish, 15 home runs. He's going to try and jack something out of the park here. And that fastball is going to be fire from, who is that, Ronis Eliash. So he fired that ball in there and got us late on the pitch. So here we go. We'll take that change up outside for a ball. That's too easy to do, especially when it's slow and outside like that. All right, here we go. Oh, that tur I was going to say change up again, but that was a curveball, and that was a dandy of a curveball right there. So we got to be contact swing if anything's close. But that curveball is not a dandy. That one's inside, almost hits double E. That would have been a man on first with two out and uh, somebody up at the dish. And that's a fastball that we just fought off there to stay alive. Should be three and two right now, but you know what? That's all right. We can uh, we can fight back from that. All right, here we go. Two two and change up gets us inside low and slow, and that's the way you strike out Incarnacion and that at bat. All right, fourth inning, we've got the one nothing lead. Strowman's pitching a gem so far, I assume. I'm sure he's not walked anyone, maybe given up a hit, and that curveball just juts inside. I thought if it was on the inside of the plate, we'd get it, but unfortunately, it was just about three, four inches off the plate, and that cost us a foul ball. And then that fastball, exactly where I was looking for a pitch, but then couldn't do anything with it, and that is kind of disappointing to look out for strike number two. And then chase the change up once again. That is not going to get the job done. Bottom of the seventh, a 2 nothing lead. Encarnacion's potential last bat of the game. We're going to get the high fastball. And we're going to chase that all the way up the ladder. And that will be a bad, 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 bad strike number one. Here we go. We got we to gotta get it done. We're going to pop this one up instead. Incarnacion's not going to be able to get that into the seats. And looks like Incarnacion's not going to be a factor in this game today. As we will end up winning it, well, 3-1. So, Strowman obviously was dealing. Let's take a look at how this went. You see, Bautista had a double. Jensen had two home runs. Zimmerman had an RBI. And Marcus Stroman went seven strong, eight hits, one earned run, five strikeouts, lowered his ERA tremendously. Drew Storen had a hold, and Roberto Osuna gave him a 14th save on the year. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If not, leave a like, and I will catch you guys in the uh, next one. Hey guys, one. thank you for tuning in to this edition of Yak City Gaming. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out these playlists to my right. I've got some awesome videos for you to browse through. And if not, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.